Kendall with Freedom Canine. Let's talk fetch. So today uh, we're going to go over the different ways that you can control and mix up how you play fetch so it's not just the same old thing. So you can add obedience into your normal game of fetch to get your dog thinking and make it a little bit more challenging for your dog. So your dog is both mentally and physically stimulated. First thing you can do is have your dog do obedience with the ball in your hand. As you can see, Baron's really excited, so he has to control that excitement to be able to get the ball. Uh, make sure that your dog follows through with your commands. Um, next, you can start to control the ball when you play the game. So you can throw the ball, have them bring it back, drop it at your feet, grab the ball, um, ask them to sit before you throw the ball again, or ask them to down. Tell them when to go after the ball, when to drop the ball. Once your dog is getting the hang of that, then you can actually have them sit her down on the way to go get the ball. Down. down. Boy. one is being able to turn your dog around and get them to come all the way back to you without going to get that ball. Baron, here. Ah, uh, uh, here. Good, sit. Freak. Good boy. When you're in the beginning learning stages, don't worry about it. Use a leash, um, slowly work up to this. Uh, but being able to control the ball play uh, will help your dog in so many ways. Um, if your dog has a humongous prey drive, you can turn them away from deer, squirrels, anything that um, could end up being dangerous for them. 